I remember starting in this business 45 years ago and the statements that life is always perfect, everything happens for a reason, were talked about all the time. It was just accepted as a reality, right? That life is perfect as it is right now, even if we don't perceive it to be. That everything happens for a reason and sometimes we don't find that reason, <clears throat> excuse me, for years down the road. Sometimes we may never find the reason that something happened, right? But I want to know from your perspective, and you can leave comments, of course, anytime. Do you believe that everything that happens is divinely given, is perfectly orchestrated? Do you believe that when you're going through a struggle that there's a reason for that struggle? Do you believe that maybe the opposite, that we have no control over anything? and nothing has to make sense, the chaos theory, right? Things are just randomly happening all over the place and we have no control over anything. That's kind of the fate belief system, is that no matter what you do, it doesn't matter because everything's already been lined out for you. Do you believe that theory of living? I think it's really important to come down to your own conclusion about what works for you, right? If you believe everything happens for a reason, then that can really alleviate some stress, some depression, some anxiety. You may not know the reason right yet, but if you can believe that, that everything comes to me for a reason for my own growth, it can really help because when you're in a stressful circumstance, you know, I remember my mom and dad dying a couple years ago and, you know, I had to ask the question over and over again, why is this happening now? You know, why are they in so much pain? Why are they still hanging on? And then at the end of the day, when I look back, I look at all these reasons that happened, you know, how it changed me and my teachings of grief. Watching my mom and dad die, while it doesn't sound like it was a really fun thing to do, taught me about grieving, taught me so much that I hadn't known before that I completely changed my whole grieving structure, my whole grieving course. We changed it all. You know, in 1990, I had a failed suicide attempt. Now, a lot of people go, oh my God, I can't believe you went through that. And I know it was very difficult. But what came out on the other side was magical, was amazing. You know, so does everything happen for a reason? If you believe it does, it could alleviate a lot of stress. And then look for those reasons, right? Because if things are happening for a reason and you find out you may be the reason, aren't we always? You may be the person that has to change. You may be the person that has to shift your belief system. But if we can get into that mindset, that life is divinely handed to us. We have free will. That is the beautiful thing. If you're struggling financially right now, you can get help and not struggle anymore. If you're struggling with addiction right now, you can get help and not struggle. When I think about my 30 years of addiction, what a blessing that ended up being because I learned so much from my own failures that I was able to help other people continue on. Even when I had made mistakes for 30 years, I was able to use that. So did that happen for a reason? In my opinion, absolutely. Did my parents' death taking four years for each of them to die once they were in hospice, oh my God, it was a crazy thing. Did that happen for a reason? Yes, it completely changed my whole belief system about the world of grieving. I've changed everything. You know, when, when I look at that suicide failure, did that happen for a reason? Yes, in my opinion. It focused me on the world of mental health. And from that day, my own mental health, I had to take care of first, right? But then it gave me deep insight into why people struggle so deeply with depression, anxiety, ADD, ADHD. So in my opinion, everything happens for a reason. And in my opinion, everything that happens for a reason is because we need to learn something from it. If I can help you at all, if this struggles, this doesn't feel right to you or you're confused or what direction to go, reach out to me at talkdavid.com. We've been doing the counseling and life coaching for 45 years. This is a passion of mine. I'd love to help you get really clear about what your belief systems of this existence is so that you can live a happier life. Everything's at talkdavid.com. Have a beautiful day.